Ugh, heavier than he looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this out. Peace. Later, Dex. Damn, dude. Heartless. Just drug my corpse out of a junkyard and slap me for it. Nice car. Smell like shit. Well, I was just in a fucking junkyard, so sorry. Sorry, I didn't take a bath before you came to visit. You hear me? I need your help. Can like hear you could hear it like coming out of his sternum. Oh, what up, bro? Yeah, fuck yeah. one way of fucking doing it. Oh, we got still trying to go. Don't you dare faint again. Keep your eyes open. Nah, dog, I think I'm gonna pass oh, out. <laughs> we I'm fucking hard. Medical attention. Do you know a Ripadoc whom you can trust? Uh, I know. Someone. We must get to Ripadoc quickly. Victor will fix us up. We have to get there somehow. Call someone. Anyone. All right, all right. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the service area. Just come pick me up. I need to get to Misty's Esoterica in front of Vix. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! What a, like I said, what a, roller, what a fucking roller coaster. The personal link is damaged. 
Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear, though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neurosockets between his lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit the vein by mistake, he will die. Indeed, as he will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. Let's get him inside. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! Pressure's tanking. It's neurogenic shock. He's dying. Gotta cut my way through the He's literally got the car AI no helping him out. There is risk of I know what I'm doing. targeted at the NUSA and Militech. Tell me then, what do we call the murder of my father? Was that... Always using oh, he? The, his own assassination to uh, so remove the agenda. You, Classic corporate move. Every day. You feel? I don't know, Vic. Ears are ringing, but I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage, and I almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. Then I let it all out into a mic. And I realize it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then, <laughs> promise not to laugh. I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. Night City looked different, strange. And I hated it. I hated everybody, every inch. It's too real, even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Hang on. You mean to say there's an actual terrorist in my head? Right now? That's right. Johnny Silverhand. Had his crowning moment about 50 years ago. AHQ bombing. Heard of it? It's his doing. People say he was buried under the rubble. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. You've never given me that look before, Vic. What is it? You, uh... Don't got a lot of time left, kid. Say what now? The biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much... life. A 
A few weeks, Tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness, gradually taking over your body until one day you'll just be gone. V, it's important you get all this. Don't believe an ounce of the horse shit coming from your mouth. Know why? Because it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Whatever's happening to me, there's a logical explanation. Gotta be. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Don't admit a thing, not one deep. Okay. There was... is a construct. A psyche on the chip. That of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter to Sean. But how do you come back from something like that? Low caliber, you lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. People don't just die and get up like nothing happened. Used to be true. Now it's only if they don't have a classified piece of corpo tech primed to resurrect them. What about me? My psyche. I'll make it back from the other side and what? I'm supposed to pretend change is normal? Ask the Arasaka engineers who built the thing. All I know is your mind's gonna go. And it won't be pretty. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out. While your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body. It's not willful on his part, it's automatic, inevitable, and neither of you can stop it. Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... Well, what the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty. Damn. You're asking too much from an old timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here, got some meds for you. Yeah. Omega blockers. Shit, how you get down there? They'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizines from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Giving me a pill to prod that son of a bitch so he can kill me faster? Listen, you're likely to be fine for a while. But sometime down the road, it could turn into pure agony. I'm giving you options, honey. The brain can be tricked. Plain old painkillers do that. Your psyche's gonna die, V. You'll feel your old self slipping away. At some point, you won't recognize yourself. It'll be terrifying. It'll be painful. But it doesn't have to be. The fuck I need pills for? I ought to just stick a gun in my mouth and pull the trigger. Well, that way you'd kill two souls. Is that what you want? 
I gotta lie down. At least they're giving it to him real, right? Not sugarcoating it. Like, oh, you might be able to make it. It's like, nah, dude. You're gonna die. It's fucked. We're sorry. Here. Got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Uh. Promise you'll try to get some sleep. Misty, wait. Um, about Jackie. It's funny, it gives you the option yeah. to say, uh... I'm so fucking sorry Jack's not here anymore. Jackie was special. Really spiritually rich. He touched so many people with his love. Don't worry. He'll be around. You sure you'll be alright? I'll be fine. Life is so beautifully powerful. So much more powerful than death. But right now, you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. Sweet. Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way, you included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? smoke then go out and get some just need one last one jesus fucking christ man the fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be fucking ghost off <laughs> who you work for start talking fuck Stanton in. Fuck. You're me. I'm you. <laughs> Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No way. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm not real sure what I would do in this situation. I'll take control. Mac and cheeses. Ugh. I'll find a way. Ugh. You hear me? Oh. <laughs> Just beating the shit out of himself, goddamn. Give my boy a break. See you never, asshole. Now like that. Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. Look at the Our minds touch it. I'm like mold on fruit creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the Edgram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Kill you. Do it. What are you waiting for? Oh, fuck me. It's a fast working pill. <laughs> <laughs> 